Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about the Plastomyces dermatitis. It is a soil inhabiting diamorphic fungus causing infection upon inhalation. As you can see in the background on the poster, its natural reservoirs are water baths, rivers, soil, trees, but also within animals. The spores are occurring also in the ground in forests and are inhaled when the forest ground is moved or digged up. After inhalation of these spores, alveolar macrophages, neutrophils and lymphocytes ensure immune defense against spores of the fungi. Especially the macrophages play a key role as they inhibit the transformation of the spores to the infectious yeast form. The yeast form's viral lens factor is a thick capsule which protects it from being phagocytosed. Once they are inhaled, they proliferate and invade further lung tissues. As the pathogen reproduces, the infection spreads by lymphohematogenous dissemination. Different systems like the skin, bone, genitourinary tract and central nervous system can be involved. Where the fungi arrive, they lead to the formation of pyogranulomatous lesions. The inhalation also leads to different symptoms. The pulmonary manifestation presents with fever, cough, dyspnea, night sweat and a pulmonary infiltrate. This infiltrate is mostly seen in the upper lobes of the lung. It can progress to a chronic infection with extra pulmonary manifestation with involvement of the organ systems that I mentioned before. Skin lesions present as erythematose, papules with ulcerating center and epithelial hyperplasia. They have a similar appearance to squamous cell carcinomas, which also is one of the differential diagnoses for the skin presentation. Diagnosis of infection with this fungi is made by culturing the fungi in sputum. As you can see here in this scheme of a petri dish, it forms white yellowish cultures in which these fungi spores, which I tried to draw next to them, are contained. Also, it is possible to stain the fungi in a histological slide with a silver stain where the background will appear bluish and the fungi show in black with a thick capsule, which is characteristic for this fungi. Also, a chest X-ray can be obtained where lobar consolidation, multilobar and perihilar infiltrates and multiple nodules can be seen. However, a test which is not recommended to do is an antigen or antibody proof because those are not reliable and are usually in the clinics not used. As I mentioned earlier, we have granulomatous changes in histological slides and these contain giant cells, thick walls and thick nuclei. The treatment of this fungal infection is itraconazole, as also for histoplasmosis infection, which I mentioned in the video earlier, and for severe infections, amphotericin B is used. Risk factors for developing an infection with this fungi is, especially for people which are a lot in nature and forests, or which are maybe perhaps even working there. Those include people that go frequently hunting, camping, those that are working in the woods, but also people that have different conditions which maybe require them to take steroid medication, patients that are affected of viral hepatitis, or patients that already have a predisposition for pulmonary diseases, if they maybe already have asthma, COPD, or any other kind of lung diseases. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, post it in the comments. I will try to answer as soon as possible. And if you liked the video, I would be very happy if you could subscribe. Thank you very much.